You know why that scared me? It was because I wasn't expecting it. And that's what surprised me. See? Right, 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 right. Now, you know why that didn't scare me? You know why it didn't scare me? Because I was expecting it. When something happens that you don't expect, that's when you get <laughs> scared and surprised. That's when it's you get surprised. But when you expect it, then you do, you're not surprised anymore. And you're not scared anymore because you know it's coming. So, well, some of you, what a beautiful outfit you've got. I like the dress and the, and the bow and the hair. This, this, is, this dress is for Easter. I was thinking that looks like a beautiful Easter dress. That's what, now, and, and, uh, Ray Ray, you're wearing a dress, which is very nice. It's summer. Yours is a spring dress with flowers on it. Hey, boys, how come you guys don't have flowers on your, your clothes? Because they were flowers. Oh, because boys don't have flowers? I have okay. Flowers. Guess what, Ray Ray? David has lots of flower shirts. He wears Hawaiian shirts all hey. summer. And I'll tell you, when I was younger, when I was a we wore a lot of flowers. In our head, in our mullet, he wears a lot of flowers. Right, in our mullet. And guess what? They were mullets then either. No, they didn't. No, it was just long hair. We had long hair. And my dad has a mullet. But I'm very transparent with him. Look, 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 look. Like, here's the thought of mullet. Look, look, look. I can forgive you. Forgive my mistake, because I was mistaken. I will not forgive. <laughs> What's your favorite treat, Ray? My favorite what? Your favorite treat. My favorite treat. Why are you my favorite treat. <laughs> oh, I can't Ooh. give hey, you what your favorite treat is. My favorite treat. Oh. I can't give you Hey, what is your, I, I, will, I will tell you my I favorite treat. I have to stretch your hair. You've got to, you got to tell me what's your favorite treat first. You what's your favorite treat? Um, the apple tree. You always oh, a tree we're looking at? No, a tree. Like a sweet. 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 Like a snack. What's your favorite snack? Gummies. Gummies. Gummies okay. are good. Um, what's your Rory? What's your favorite snack? Candy. Candy. Any particular kind of candy? Chocolate. Chocolate. Chocolate is good. What's your favorite tree? Say that, please. What's your favorite <coughs> snack? Everly. Huh? Sticky? It's a sticky pop. Sticky, sticky pop. pop. Okay, it sticky. It's on your lips. Hmm. Oh, I've never had a sticky pop. Me either. What's your, Ray Ray, what's your favorite yeah. snack? Yeah. What's your favorite snack? You don't know? I got a box on me. Uh, worm. Yeah. Slug. Oh. Dirt. Dirt. Grass. Grass. Yeah. Bug. Bugs. Bugs. What's your favorite Beep. snack, Colt? Beets. Um, beets. 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 What? Red pop. Something pop? What? Red pop. And a lollipop. A lollipop or like a freezer pop? Is it cold? No. No, it's not cold. Warm. I'm going to get a bowl of chocolate on it. It's got chocolate on it? No. No. Chocolate. You like to get donuts. Is donuts one of your favorites? Mm, yeah. yeah. Donuts? Well, donuts are good. What's your favorite treat? Me? Your favorite snack? <laughs> your favorite snack? Pusher Pop. Push, push up, up pop. pop. Okay, yeah. that's good. Now that cold, right? No, the no. the what? You get the finger and that hurt, and then they push up. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, those are like a lollipop. Oh, okay, okay, gotcha. I was thinking of the popsicle kind of things. Yeah, what's your favorite snack? <coughs> candy. candy. What, what kind, kind of candy? candy? Huh? Ring candy. Ring candy. Okay. Ring pops. I got three pops in I like, I like two. Well, ladies, what's your favorite kind of treat? Uh, 
Depends on what mood I'm in. <laughs> ah! <laughs> let's say, let's say you're in a good mood. Um. Yeah, if you're depressed, yeah, that's a whole different thing. But what if you're in a good mood? Uh, what do you think? Let's say ice cream. No. Ice cream. No. It's probably not my favorite, but we probably eat it the most because it's my daughter's favorite. Ice cream? Yeah. Mm. My daughter would eat ice cream for every meal. Mm. And not after, but in place in, of. In place of meal. Well, yeah. what kind of ice cream? Um, <laughs> depends on what you're craving. Yes. You're happy. A banana <laughs> split. Banana oh, split. There we go. Okay, now we're good. That sounds good. Yeah. <laughs> that's going to be mood less, you know. And what's your favorite um, snack? She agrees with me. It depends on your mood. <laughs> if I want salty, I like pretzels. Salty pretzels. If I want sweet, I like ice cream. Okay. And I think my favorite, you know how you can get like the blizzards? Yeah. I get like the cookies and cream made with mm-hmm. chocolate ice cream. Yeah, we like chocolate ice cream. Oh, I love so Okay, okay. Because so my favorite... Treat. And of course, it depends on my mood. <laughs> <laughs> I like, there are two things I really like. And one of them, and this would be a spread, I don't like things that are real sweet. I don't like sweet, so I don't like candy. Oh. I'm not a, I don't eat candy. I don't like candy. I like cheese and crackers. Have you ever had cheese and crackers? You like cheese? Oh, I love cheese, and I like the I cheese. The cheese you get in a little container and you you mm-hmm. scoop it out and put it on on crackers. <laughs> that is it. You too. Uh huh. And yeah. you know what else I like? What? Only they don't like me. They don't like me, but I love them. Sit on your stuff. I <laughs> love strawberries. Oh, I love them. Oh, yeah. You love strawberries. I love strawberries. I like cheese and crackers. You like cheese? I like cheese and crackers, and I like strawberries. Those are my two favorites. What's that? I like both. You like? I do too. I like both too. Not together, but separate. I like them both. Depends on my mood. Uh, But I like, yeah, I like them. But just strawberry. I don't want to get some chocolate. I don't want any of that. So just strawberry. Look at the boy wearing flowers. Look at him. Look at him. Look at the boy wearing flowers. I oh, found yeah. three pictures yeah. real quick of a boy wearing flowers. Little flowers, big flowers, blue flowers. Ooh. Boys can wear flowers. Boys can wear. And you know when but I was. Some don't wear dresses. Okay, but, but they don't wear dresses. Well, 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 if you're in <laughs> Scotland. That's but but <laughs> Ray Ray, you know when I was no, when I was no. a boy, we no. wore flowers a lot, and you know what we called it? You know what we called it when we wore flowers? What? When I was younger? Yeah. We call it groovy. What? We were what? groovy. What? But that's me to hear. Have you but, ever heard but, the word? Groovy? Have you ever heard of groovy? Yeah. But you, yeah. But we don't wear. Well, you can't. You know, sometimes it's I'm gonna make to David flowers. come here with flowers. I'm gonna tell. I'm gonna call him and say, "Skip school. Put on your favorite flower dress and dress? Dress her shirt." Shirt. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't have dresses. Shirt. Now, are you, are you enjoying something right now that is very really significant? Because <laughs> I'm gonna, I record this. So this is being recorded. <laughs> All of his friends are gonna hear this. <laughs> Yeah. Do you know what, you know what outing means? <laughs> okay, okay, I got a story for you. I got a story for you. I got a story for you. I got a story. Now, remember, we were talking, we were talking about Easter, right? And what happens at Easter? Jesus dies on the cross. Okay, Jesus dies on the cross, right? And what happens? He comes alive again on Easter, right? And he came alive again. And remember what he did when he came alive again? What do you want? He he went to heaven. Well, before he went to heaven, he became alive again. And then remember, he talked to his friends. And told him about Jesus. And told him about, you know, things he wanted them to do, right? And then he went up to heaven. But he made a promise to him. 
He said, I want you, when I go back to heaven, I want you to go to a certain place. And it was a city called Jerusalem. And I want you to wait there because something is going to happen to you when you're in Jerusalem. Something really, really exciting is going to happen to you it's when you're in Jerusalem. Right. You need to shave your beard. So, so, here we go. There was all kinds of people were in this city called Jerusalem. Really important city. Much bigger than Clarion. Much bigger than Clarion. Like Pittsburgh. A huge city. Thousands of people were there. And they were there for a special day. And that day was called Pentecost. Pentecost was a big deal. Okay. So all these people were there. And you know who else were there? You had people from all over the world. What are some places in the world where people might come from? They came from? Jerusalem. They were in Jerusalem. And they came from the country. And they came from other cities. They were everywhere. And Jesus' friends were there. And they were there in a room. And they were... What? They were praying in a room, guys. Listen, they were all praying in a room. And how do you look when you pray? How do you look when you pray? Everybody look like when you pray. What do you do when you pray? You fold your hands, you fold your eyes, and you bow your head. Very good. And that's what they were doing. All of Jesus' friends were in this room, and they were praying. Yeah, I, yeah, I know. It's okay. Yeah. They were all praying. And everything was quiet. Let's get real quiet. And then they heard something. You know what they heard? The spirit. Wait, wait, they heard this. A wind. Oh, they heard a wind. And it got... Everybody give me a wind sound. It got louder and louder and louder. They all had their eyes closed and they had their heads in. And then all of a sudden, they were like little... You know, in the summer, you have little lightning bugs. You know what a lightning bug is? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. All of a sudden, they look, and they're like little lightning bugs. They all turned around. off the lights. It was all dark, and they saw little lightning. And those lightning bugs got brighter and brighter, and all of a sudden, it looked like little peak flames of fire. You know, when you light a match? You ever seen a match? And a flame or watch the candle. It was those lights all around the room. And the wind was blowing. Let's hear the wind. And there were little lights everywhere all around. And they still had their heads down, but they were looking up and seeing all this stuff. And you know what happened to those little lights that were all over the room? They came and they rested right on each one. This little... Why did you tap my head? Because that's what happened with the fire. They tapped them on the head. Tapped them on the head. And they it's dumped it on top of the head. Now, how do you think it felt when when these little these little flames of fire touched them on the head? It's hot. They, you know, it wasn't hot. It was warm, but it wasn't hot. And all of a sudden, they were praying, and they started to speak in foreign languages. All of a sudden, everybody was talking in foreign languages. Some were speaking in English. And some were speaking in Spanish, and some were speaking in French, and they were all speaking in these different languages. And they were all in Jerusalem. Well, when people were outside hearing them talking, what do you, what do you think the people outside thought when they heard all these people talking in languages? Jesus. They thought, whoa, what's going on in here? And there were people from all over the place, and they knock on the door, and they say, what are you guys doing? And you know Peter, you know who Peter is? Yeah. Peter was Jesus' best friend. Peter says, you know what? Something happened to us in this room. Something came just like Jesus told us. What came to us when we were in this room? The wind. The, the wind. The lightning. The little light. The little pieces of fire. The little flames of fire. And Peter says, "You know what that? Stuff, you know what that is? That's the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit. And you know what? That's what Jesus told us was going to happen. 
that the Holy Spirit was going to come. And they said, wait a minute, wait a minute. They said, wait a minute, who is this guy you're calling Jesus? We don't know anything about him. We've never heard the name. And Peter said, bye-bye. Hi, (laughs) Billy. Yeah, you know, they said, we've never heard Jesus. And Peter says, oh, you never heard Jesus. Let me tell you, let me tell you all about, let me tell you all about Jesus. And Peter started to tell people about Jesus. And the people who heard, they started to listen. And they started to believe that Jesus was really, really special. That he was son of God. All because what happened, what happened to Jesus' friend when they were in that room? What happened to Jesus' friends when they were up in that room? Pray. The Holy Spirit came like wind, so the fire, fire, and the wind, and the wind. Oh, hi, Bunny! Oh, he's the lightning. And like light, sort of like lightning, yeah. Lightning okay, <laughs> let's let's have a word of prayer. Let's bow our heads, have a word of prayer. Let's get out. Uh, Lord God, thank you so much for Pentecost. Thank you for sending your Holy Spirit on Jesus' friends. But most of all, Lord, thank you for sending your Holy Spirit on us. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. Now, what are you going to do? What are you going to do for the rest of the day? What are you going to do next? Now. Boy, that sounds like a good idea. I could get into that. For 100 minutes? I could get into taking a nap. But I don't think you're going to take a nap. What are you going to do? We're not going to take a nap. What are we going to do next? I'm going to take a nap. We're going to read our message. Are you going to? We're going to sing some songs. Sing some songs. Okay, you're going to have chicken salad. Oh, the chicken! I thought you said chicken salad, no. and I'm gonna have the chicken because I thought that might be uncomfortable. Uh, the, um, so you're gonna have the chicken challenge, and what is the chicken challenge? Chicken. You're gonna work together. You're gonna work together. Well, that sounds really good. Hey, one thing I want you to remember: when you do your songs, and when you do your dancing. Yeah, thank you. Nobody else knew that. You're dancing. Uh, when you do your dancing. And then you get when you do that dancing. And when you do the chicken challenge, I want you to remember something. What? I want you to remember one thing. Okay, everybody stand up. Everybody stand up. I want you to remember one thing. I want you to, and when I say it, I want you to repeat after me because I'm going to ask you what I want you to remember. I want you to remember this. God loves us. God loves us. God loves who? Us. God loves us. Okay. You know it because we say it every single Sunday, don't we? Every Sunday. So, okay. Y'all have a good, good day. Y'all have an outstanding day. And uh, I'll see you next week. Okay, guys? All right. Hey, and, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see if I can wear, find a flower shirt. I may wear a flower. I can't wear a flower shirt. No, no, no. I can't wear a flower no. shirt to church? No, no, no. no, no, no. Hey, hey, you know what? Some You see, some men have a flower right yeah. here. Mm-hmm. Wear a flower like right a here. Flower. In Just fact, you see that right there on my coat? That hole? That hole? You know what that hole's for? Yeah. A flower. What? It's for a flower. You put a flower right through that hole. You should go pick a dandelion and put it there. Mm-hmm. That would look really nice. Oh, no. Oh, no.